Hi! Okay, so today I got my big Mandrake delivery. And it's really big, but there's actually only two figures in here. It's because one of them's really big. So it's one of them is um, the Terra Alien Berserker figure. And one of them is the 1 8 Good Smile uh, Tomoe Mami figure from um, Maroka. And I've been really looking forward to getting these figures, and so I figured box this big, um, I might as well make it my first unboxing. So here we go. Now if you can see the box. Oh, and yes, I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to get my gross hand oils all over. And uh, in case anybody was wondering, the Terra Alien figure was 8,000 yen. The Tomoe Mami was 4,000. So you can see the entire box is actually half empty. And that's a shame. That means I should have bought more figures. Alright, so first up is the Terra figure. You can see that the box is really big. It's actually bigger than I expected, so I can see why they didn't let me ship it with Sal, which would have been a lot cheaper. So here it is. And then let's take it out of the bubble wrap. It's so exciting. she is and let me see if you can see this oh yeah okay so she looks really good already this is what her front box looks like here's the back it's a nice picture of her fully assembled side you can see her butt oh man i like that that was this is this is really smart and she is just enormous Oh my goodness, like, I don't know if you can, my face for scale, like, she's huge, she's way bigger than I expected. Actually, I should put her side by side with my ultimate Maroka by GSC, because I feel like her body's definitely bigger. Holy crap, she's huge. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so she uh, came used said box damaged as it does with every mandrake option but generally the figures are untouched or in like new condition at least that's what my experience has been with gs or with mandrake so here's the blister packaging pretty typical but she is just enormous i mean look at her i'm i'm 511 so I don't know if that gives you a better frame of reference at all, but here she is. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Yeah, this is a gorgeous figure. I Initially, I didn't want to get her because her outfit is so simple. I'm not a fan of the, like, beach queen swimsuit style figure, but... The weapon is so cool. I don't know if you can see that. The weapon is really cool, um, as with most Terra figures, so I had to get it. And the base is pretty neat. I mean, it's really tiny. So I'm kind of concerned about the figure not being very stable if I were to like display it and accidentally bump into the wall or something. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay, let's get this open. Alright, so. First, the figure. I don't know if my webcam is focusing on this. Here's her little... What does that say? I'm not sure what that says. <laughs> but, and here's her nice legs. Really nice shading. Cute little shoes. Shoes are pretty simplistic, but I suppose that comes with the territory of having a bathing suit on. 
uh, her legs nice curve here. And of course, the most important part, Aelin butt. Yeah, everything is just really beautiful and she's just so big. Like, recently I've been getting a lot of Nemdroids and Figmas, so this is like a very welcome change. Her hands seem a little big for my taste. Um, kind of reminds me of One Piece, how big her hands are. You can see that. But yeah, and here's her other hand. But yeah, also her hair is really nice. It's very dynamic. And I love her eyes. I don't think you can actually get this exact design in Terra. I've tried. But yeah. She looks really nice. Her bunny ears are really cute. Hope I don't snap them off accidentally. Now let's get her weapon. So it comes in two parts. Uh, this staff thing and fits into the base right here. Mine came a little stained, you can see here, which is no big deal, because you can't see it anyway. Okay, so here's the fully assembled weapon. As you can see, it's quite big, like, kind of looks like a scepter or something from Sailor Moon. It feels a little, little bit flimsy. I feel like if I shook it a little too hard, it would snap. But it is PVC, so it's got some give to it. And let's get this weapon on. Not sure how I'm supposed to do it. Oh, you can see inside her hands. There's, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of staining from the previous owner. It makes sense because this weapon seems quite hard to get in. It might help if I took this off. Oh, this is much better idea than what I was doing. So all you have to do is slide, take this off first and slide it through her hands instead of having to force them through like I was doing because I'm dumb. So slide it through like this. She kind of looks like she's throwing a dart or like a javelin. But yeah, slide it through like this. And stick on her massive and amazing weapon. So this is what she looks like right now. I think that's right. And then let's get her base. Okay, so her base is actually not small. I saw only this little green part. It's actually this giant mirrored surface. You can see my really makeshift video camera setup. But, uh, so yeah, it's, I don't know what this thing, I think it's maybe like a movement kind of thing. But anyway, so you, there's a hole in the back of her right foot and you would stick it right up to this peg here and her foot is sculpted really nice. And it should slide on fairly easily. And I think her weapon is also supposed to be some sort of a support. So this is the final assembled figure. She looks really gorgeous and she's so big. You can see. Let me take the webcam and kind of move it around her. She looks really pretty. I love her. Of course. Very important. So yeah, overall I'm very impressed with this figure despite the extremely simple outfit. Her weapon is really nice and her sculpt is very well done. I don't think you can really see that very well, but 
yeah, she's just really, I'm mostly impressed with her size. And yeah, she's overall, if you want to get a sense of what she looks like. And this, uh, her axe acts as, an, acts as a support for her too, to help her balance, which is really cool. so good <laughs> so yeah overall I'm really happy with this purchase it is definitely worth 8,000 yen you can find it cheaper but I decided to jump on it because I didn't want to pay a $500 processing fee for just mommy so yeah probably not the best reasoning but I'm really happy that I got her and if you're on the fence about her and you can find her for about 8k or under I would say get her because she's huge gorgeous her pose is dynamic and beautiful. Her hair is obviously really nice with the pink curls and weapon, of course, very detailed. There's a skull hand on it. This is probably an actual weapon that you can get in the game. And some suit, super cute, but super cute. Little cotton tail, super cute. She's overall like a really nice figure. So yeah, there is the Terra Alien figure, and I will do an unboxing of the Good Smile Mommy in the next video. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching.